I'm going to show you how to upgrade this standard UPS. This is APC model CS500. You can buy this from Amazon, a little cheaper, um, 160 something, and uh, even cheaper in eBay, but you have to pay for shipping. Uh, the battery is very small, 7 amp hour capacity of this one. Original battery is eight, $80. You can buy an alternative replacement of the same size. It is about $20 from Amazon. But you can use this big Group 31 100 amp hour Red Odo battery, lithium ion phosphate, to um, increase the capacity. This battery you can purchase from Amazon for less than $200 ship. So I'm going to show you my setup. This is the UPS placed on top of the battery. You can see two wires coming out of the side wall of the UPS. Red is connected to the original battery terminal inside the UPS. And then it is connected to the positive of the battery and the black is extended wire connected in the inside to the original negative terminal and now it is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. This thing, the UPS, is uh, connected to the power strip and power strip um, has all these uh, modem, home server, security system and the router hooked up to it. The red and white wires coming down, those are Ethernet cables. So this is the setup. Uh, I have removed the handle of the battery to place the UPS on top of it. So here is a close up of these uh, wires coming out of the UPS and they are connected to the respective terminals of the battery. Let's uh, test the voltage of this battery as it is running connected to AC power. So it is 13.52 which shows the battery is almost 100% charged. So here's a close up of the voltage test. It is 13.52. Uh, the battery is almost fully charged. So now I have unplugged the UPS from the wall. You can see it is online. And uh, that means it switched to battery power. Now I'm going to use um, clamp multimeter to test the power draw from the battery on the uh, positive wire. So at this point when there is no AC power on the battery backup the UPS is drawing about 3.3 amps. So now I'm going to plug it back onto the AC power. You can see the amber light turn into green. So the system is working perfect. Here's the comparison of the upgrade. With the original battery, you get approximately one hour of runtime because the capacity is about 60% of that battery. With the lithium ion phosphate, it is about 80%, you get 23 hours of capacity.